Hello, this is Jaden with Adventure Pilot, and in the next few minutes I'm going to show you the basics of using iFly EFB. iFly EFB is available on Android, iOS, and Windows, but depending on your platform, this installing process may vary. For Android and iOS, you need to go to your App Store, search iFly EFB, and click Install. Once iFly EFB is finished downloading, open the app and answer the questions you are prompted. Make sure you allow all permissions, that way the app can work properly. Then, you'll have to pick the states that you would like to download charts for. This download is very large and can take a long time, so it's best to be on a stable Wi-Fi connection. Once you have your charts installed, you'll be popped out onto this navigation page. The navigation page is made up of three major features, the map, the instruments, and the action buttons. The instruments are fully customizable, but the default instruments are set up to show important information such as your ground speed, your GPS altitude, your track, or your flight duration. The action buttons are used to access various other functions and settings and control what the map is showing, but more on these in just a minute. Most of your screen is the navigation map. The airplane indicates your current location, and by touching the screen and swiping, you can pan the map. The plus and minus buttons on the right of the screen are used to zoom in and out, or if you're on a phone or tablet, you can do a pinch gesture. After panning across the map, you can use the recenter button to recenter the map onto your aircraft. This will automatically track your location as you fly. If you want more information about anything on the map, tap it. This will display a quick info pop-up, which is a summary of all the data available at the location. This can give a status such as airports, weather, or airspaces. Use the tabs along the side of the quick info pop-up to cycle through the different types of information. Each tab has buttons that will let you drill into more information or take action such as modifying your flight plan. To change the map type, use the map mode button. You can switch from VFR to IFR to vector mode. You can also change map layers such as Nexoid radar or fuel prices. Next, we'll talk about creating a flight plan. There are multiple ways to do this, but one of the easiest ways is to click anywhere on the map, select Flight Planning, and select one of the Fly Direct to Here options. But if you'd like to create a simple point-to-point -point flight plan, you can click Menu, Fly Direct to, and type in the identifiers of the two airports. Once your flight plan is created, you can rubber band the route to avoid terrain, or airspaces, or to dock a fuel stop. You can touch the flight plan button to get additional information on the route and access some of the more advanced flight planning options. The nearest button shows you a list of nearby airports. You can tap on any airport to get additional information about it, or touch the text search to look up any airport using its identifier, name, or city. Tapping the instrument group button will let you select from a plethora of default instrument layouts, or when you're more experienced with the app, you can actually create your own instrument layouts with your own specialized instruments that you choose, like AHARs. You can also use the north up slash track up button in the bottom right to make the map rotate around your plane, rather than your plane rotating around the map. This can make navigation easier for some pilots, but it's all based on your own preference. This is obviously just an introduction to the general software, but now you can get started, create a flight plan, and fly with iFly EFB. There are a lot of things we haven't covered, but I hope you feel comfortable using the app, and we also have a lot more quick tips on our channel that you can use to learn more about our app. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at adventurepilot.com, and I hope you have a wonderful time flying. Bye now.